Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is TMI in commercial lease? When venturing into the world of commercial leases, you encounter a soup of acronyms. One of them is TMI. It sounds like too much information, right? But hold your horses. In real estate, TMI has a different meaning. It stands for taxes, maintenance, and insurance. These are the three musketeers of additional costs that tenants may be responsible for, on top of their base rent in a commercial lease. Taxes refer to the property taxes that the landlord passes on to the tenant. It's like getting a slice of the tax pie, but not the sweet kind. Maintenance includes costs for the upkeep of the building. Think of it as the tenant's contribution to keeping the property looking sharp and functional. Insurance, that's the tenant's share of the insurance premiums for the building. It's like wearing a safety net just in case things go sideways. Now, why do landlords charge TMI? It helps them avoid the surprise of fluctuating expenses. For tenants, it means a clearer picture of their total monthly costs. But don't fret, it's not all gloom and doom. Negotiating TMI can be part of the leasing process. Tenants might have a say in how these costs are calculated and capped. Understanding TMI is crucial in commercial leasing. It can affect your bottom line more than you think. So next time you hear TMI, you'll know it's not an overshare, but an essential piece of the leasing puzzle. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.